Hi, thanks for this opportunity. My name is Jamie Palter, and I work at the University of Rhode Island's Graduate School of Oceanography. My goal in the next four minutes is to represent the ideas of a large group of participants in the OASIS program, which was selected for the UN Ocean Decade, and to get you to imagine what we could learn from a global network of uncrewed surface vehicles as nodes in the larger OASIS vision. The OASIS program aims to provide observation-based knowledge to fundamentally improve weather, climate, and ocean prediction by observing essential ocean variables, in part by creating a global network of uncrewed surface vehicles, and also by making sure our existing observing programs collect and share data according to best practices for interoperability. This figure shows all the sea surface PCO2 measurements made from ships and buoys since 1957. In six decades of observing, we still have large areas where a CO2 measurement has never been collected with much larger gaps in winter time. Even more stark, if you were to look in any one year, like this map from 2018, you'd see many gaps throughout the globe. With OASIS, we could fill these gaps and map the air-sea exchange of CO2 with the needed precision. But observing gas exchange requires observing many of the var variables needed to quantify air-sea heat and momentum exchange. In other words, our goals are inherently interdisciplinary and the OASIS program was formulated with a system as a whole approach with three main objectives. One, to monitor and predict the ocean's influence on global weather and climate. Two, to quantify air-sea carbon exchange, ocean acidification and oceanic deoxygenation. And three, to characterize oceanic and atmospheric feedback processes with a role on the ecosystem. The way we would seek to achieve these goals is through an optimized network, expanding from existing nodes like OOI, voluntary observing ships, super sites, which are process studies that last for more than a year and are anchored by a heavily instrumented surface mooring, and by adding a network of autonomous surface vehicles to provide unprecedented coverage of air-sea interactions. Enhanced data coverage would enable the creation of better informed mapped products with increased spatial and temporal resolution and reduced uncertainty. With reduced uncertainty comes enhanced understanding and impact. Again, returning to the example of carbon, better products will help close the global carbon budget, help study the stability or vulnerability of the ocean carbon sink, verify nationally reported emissions and carbon removal offsets. Deeper understanding of the processes controlling air-sea interactions and their variability will ultimately help to produce better near-term weather forecasts, as well as longer-term climate and biogeochemical projections to help govern societal decision-making. A global interconnected air-sea observing network will depend on a diverse global human network from many disciplines formed with consideration of justice and equity from the earliest planning stages. OASIS plans for partnerships with SOLAS, Ocean Corps, and others to continue realizing these ideals. Thank you for listening, and I hope I've successfully represented some of the vision of this impressive and growing group, and have a great meeting.